What's going on, YouTube? Yes, sir. Finna uh, finish up. Well, not finish up, but continue the episode on cleaning this Monte Carlo. Right now, finna um, tackle this inside interior. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, man. Everything in the inside got to go. The seats, the carpet, everything. I'm gonna save the um, door panels. And everything, headliner is pretty good. It need to be recovered. But as far as the seats, they got to go. I got um, I got some seats right here, and I think I got the back seat inside inside that um cutting this over there. But um, I'm changing this out into a bench seat um, until I can find me some um bucket seats. But man, look look at this, look at that. I got a head start on cleaning it, but I was like, man, let me record this, man, for um, I get too deep into this, man. I, I want to let y'all see everything, man, the whole progress. Like, whatever was living in here, uh, they really made themselves at home. Um, it's a mess in here, man. Um, what I've what, what I done so far is um, I replaced the door handles on both sides. I still have to um I still have to um bolt them in or put some new rivets in. I replace the um outside door handle so the doors can open and close. I gotta replace the lock and put new locks in it next. I took the door handle as you can see it's kind of blue. I took the door handles off of uh some old cutlass doors I had. I use for parts. I don't kind of script them down. Um, script them down for parts. So these are just a shell of a door. If anybody looking for some cutlass doors that they want to use that for a race car or whatnot, I have them. I let both of them go for a hundred dollars. Um, they in pretty decent shape for a race car. You know, they already script down. They're pretty light. Um, all you got to do is just put them on your put them on your car. But yeah. Cutlass door for sale. If not, I'm gonna uh, scrap them out. Got some door glass out the cutlass out of G body. They'll fit any G body. Uh, I let them go for three hundred dollars. But um, anyway, yeah, I've replaced both both door locks and door handles outside and inside uh, for the Monte Carlo. Um, spray some degreaser. I think I'm going to have to replace this piece. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to have to take these ribbons out and buy or find another piece, a uh, manual window for a G-body. Because this piece right here where the um, handle goes, is script, so it has no teeth. So that'll be on a later video before I put the interior together. Uh, I got a ways to go for that. But right now, as you can see, the floor, the, the, the floor is kind of rotted, so I know it's going to need a floor. These seats was bolted down, but as you can see right here, you can see right through the floor, right there where the seat mount at. So that tells me that it's rotted all the way through, so I'm going to have to replace these seats. Not these seats, but on um, the whole floor. I'm going to replace the front. I'm going to check the rear. I'm probably going to replace the rear, too. But they're still bolted. They still bolted down the rear end. So I might, I might look up and um, just have to replace the front. So until I take the carpet out, then I'll, you know, and then I'll know. And y'all will see that too, as well. So uh, look at this, man. It's like, boy, that's a, that's a rat's nest, squirrels heaven or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I probably. I probably mount y'all up as I clean this out. I'm gonna try to save little stuff as I go, like uh, like some screws if I come across them. I got this right here. I found the brake pad on, um, so the brake pad cover. So I'm gonna keep that. And I got all the trash right here. Like I said, I already had started on it, and then I decided to pick the camera up. So I'm gonna mount y'all up. Um. 
as y'all, y'all can watch me vacuum this stuff out and clean it up, I guess, you know. Got the shop vac ready. So let's, um, let's go to work. Okay, I got y'all mounted up now, man. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but I'm gonna trust that y'all can see it. And I'm gonna try to stay out the camera angle and the camera view as much as possible. But uh, I gotta get this mess cleaned out, man. So y'all bear with me. Um, let me change the zoom. Yeah, I'm just gonna dive in it like that. Um, yeah, I gotta clean some of this stuff out before I start vacuuming. Like they don't tow the whole, they tow the whole back seat up. Like all the cushion is ate up. Maybe it was a squirrel, rat. I'm thinking rats and squirrels and whatever else that was in here. But I'm trying to use this little hook piece right here uh, to reach and grab whatever I can't see or don't feel like reaching under because I'm not sticking my hand under there. I don't know what's under there. Even though I got gloves on. Oh. Oh, y'all remember these? Back in the day, these soldier shades. Soldier boy, tell them. These soldier shades. Let me see how they look with y'all on. Let me put these on. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me stop playing, man. I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute. The door panels, they in pretty good shape. Yeah, I gotta fix that little piece right there, but um, yeah, the door panels in pretty good shape. Set these to the side. Need some cleaning, but we can make it work. As long as I got some door panels to work with. Don't work with. This is what the original owner had it looking like, so it been the um the interior has been done before so this is not original it's been recovered before so i'm gonna have to get a new backing i'll probably go wood instead of cardboard and um uh, get this thing situated I'm telling you man when i finish with this build man y'all gonna i'm gonna be surprised Here's the other one. It wasn't a bad, it wasn't a bad design. You know, probably like a 10 year old design, you know, back in the day. Some people still use it. I would still use this and go back with a fresher look. To be honest, it's the backside. It's pretty decent. Sir, man, y'all gonna be surprised. Kibbles and bits. So they probably had a dog in the truck, in the in the in the um, back seat. Kibbles and bits. Come on. Probably had a dog back there. Look at this back seat. Look at that back seat, y'all. You can't tell me uh, something wasn't even good in here. Sir, I know they was. Shit, if it were me, I would. I'm gonna continue to um, 
between this and this out though. Just hope that them jump out and bite me. It's the door handle. Pretty good condition. What y'all think? Just gotta be recovered. I'm gonna get around to all of that. Try to get this back seat out of here now. The back seat is throwaway. Yeah. You throw away. Yes, sir. <sighs> Something been eating good on that thing, boy. Y'all come in and let me know or tell me what y'all think was living on that back seat. Tan everything up. But it's starting. It don't look that bad back there. It's just dirty. It don't look that bad back there. Just dirty, man. I'm going to continue to clean it up. I'm going to um, throw away all this big stuff, all the big chunks. Then I'm going to bring out the vacuum in a minute. So let me cut y'all back on in a minute. Because I really got to speed up the process because I got to go to work tonight. Y'all know what I do for work. All right, y'all. I got, I, got, I got out just about as much as the big stuff as I could. Um, it's about time I bring out the vac now, man, um, the shop vacuum and try to get up all this other stuff so I can work my way into getting these seats out. And, um, yeah, so let me cut the shop back on, man. Hopefully it ain't too loud for you. And, um, probably mount y'all up on the other side while I vacuum this side out. So let me see how I'm gonna mount y'all and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I guess um, I'm gonna mount y'all like this. Hopefully it ain't too loud. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. This stuff gotta come out of so chill.
put y'all in the best spot possible. There's a lot of dirt and mess going on right now. <laughs> Definitely got to clean that out. Hopefully it'll go through now. Got to expect that though. All right, I got y'all mounted up. Hopefully, you can see a little bit. But, uh, I'm gonna finish up on the back side and then I'm gonna get the driver side. Hopefully, I can get to all this.
All right, y'all. Y'all can see right here, it look a whole lot better than what it started out. No, it ain't perfect. No, it ain't clean, but it's better. You can look in the car now, and you don't have to see a lot of that trash. So I can actually get to cleaning the car and um, working on it a little better. I'm gonna still spray it down with some bug spray and um, make sure there ain't no rodents or nothing in there to bite. And when I take the carpet out, uh, that's when I'm gonna clean the floor, make sure all the floor is welded in. And I think they just, whoever owned this car last, I think they just put these bucket seats in here because they thought it was gonna fit or they was trying to make them fit. But this car is originally set up for a bench seat. So I'm going back bench. And um, I have found the name tag back here somewhere. <sighs> Keat from Sonics. I guess Big Keat used to work at Sonics. Had this car. <laughs> So, uh, yes, sir, Big Keep. I'm transforming. I'm transforming your car, Big Keep. Okay. So I'm transforming your car, Big Keep. Yes, sir. That's gonna be the name of this car, Keep. <laughs> I guess I gotta name it Keep. <laughs> so hey, stay tuned, man, for the next episode. I'll be um, probably working on the motor, seeing if it um, gets some power and will start or turn over. So that'll be the next video. That'll be the next episode. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. I'm finna go ahead and get me some sleep. It's been a long day. I ain't got no sleep. So I'ma holla at y'all on the next video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Yeah. Cause daddy, he keep